Hello, Father Cheapus is getting Fire 3 with. Uh. I love you, Colonel Sanders, the dating simulator. For, um. That KFC made. I know I'm a little late to this, but. I decided since I have it, why not? Uh, it's late. Sooner is better than later, but in my case, later is better than sooner, I guess. I, I don't know. I know I've been playing a lot of dating sims, but uh, uh, it's just a thing I've been doing, I guess. Enter my name. Scott. Oh, I should have probably turned up the volume. Why the biscuits? Don't they have dry ass biscuits? No, that's Popeyes. Popeyes has dry ass biscuits. I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Why is it taking so long? Oh, there we go. Hold on. Okay, I can't pause. What's this? Okay, there's the settings. There we go, that's better. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. What the hell? That's the worst alarm. If that's an actual rooster, that sounds like it's dying. Or you could wake up now, now, now. The first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock or th Oh wait, you slept through the school year and gave up on the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Sorry, I, I didn't read the whole thing. God damn it. Okay, we already read that. Uh, smack that club, clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Okay, that's that's too anime. Is that right here, right here? You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. It's supposed to be anime. It doesn't matter. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Um, you'll need to take this seriously. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop me now. I know it says you now, but you confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Oh, I, I don't know if that looks better than the actual biscuits or not. I don't like KFC off really that much. It's just where you needed to get your blood flowing. A KFC biscuit. Sitting in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I just got a notification from Instagram. Doesn't matter, though. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Scott. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am! Excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot of nervous! What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any loving food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's... Quicksand box? It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with University of Cooking School, I could get... Uh, not academic. Uh, you know what? I'll go with it. But the University of Cooking School Academy for Learnings 
Famous three day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. The sweet girl Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped to do practicing on her mannequin. She pep talk her or changed the subject to give her some relief. Pep talk. Remember last month when you saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Oh my god, she's so sad. Look at her. <laughs> when she blinks her... Oh my god, they did not... Okay, whatever. As you're talking Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes, because they look terrible. You can definitely believe it. Uh, I, uh, I, I can't not believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and cuts some engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but to be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I don't think I see you. I. I oh, I didn't see you there chicken shins. You leave Scott's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. I love my shins. <laughs> I love my shins. Oh, you can't stand. I can't stand. No. Oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add, a, uh, add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to. Anyway, that's <laughs> technically that's me, so I don't need to do that. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's <laughs> best friend Van Van the Ma Man Man. Okay, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem. Van Van. You rang rang. You've never been sure what the arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. He looks like he has a JoJo haircut. I've never seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, mind you, so I could be ha hating on a bunch of people, but I'm not actually hating, you know. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Ac Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. Humans just could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh. See you later, losers. Why does that why does that face look like a different face I've seen before and it could Okay, I get it. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to her. Okay, shut up with that sound effect. Oopsie. I I think it's broken. You reach for it and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, Jesus. That took me a second. Hi, Pop. I'm Scott. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building he ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? He's a kid. I don't like you for that. I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your soldiers. Soldiers. 
You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. The scruffy-looking preach takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable! No, no, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonable cute pop, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of Axol. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woo! What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only dog's nose is capable of picking up the nuances of fine dining. Of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm ch I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. The mysterious he. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him, it's... If it isn't my favorite student, Holland. Colonel Sanders and Charles Sprinkle. Sorry, Professor Dog. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish the sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down this aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second, nobody talks to my friend like that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> just gets punched. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Scott sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Okay, what a creep. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that Deviander. This morning, this classroom was hot, hot, hot. And is that because of Colonel Sanders? Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to Uxa. Uxal, sorry. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Oh wait, I forgot to give him his exit. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all this is said done... There will be battle. You will lift your sparks, compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rising speech. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet. Late to class is bad enough. But interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're ex... You're ex... You're expelled. If you utter one word... One more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. I don't know, I'm trying to do a Russian accent, it's not working, I don't know how. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is ref referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. The class bursts into laughter. Aw, oh, poor guy, he looks ashamed. Oh, now he's happy. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. <laughs> hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Chicken snack. 
He reached beneath your apron and returned with the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. The fairy professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with the coat of warm- Oh, warm doggy jewel, that sounds- Oh, oh my god, that icks me out a little. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but- Jealous- Jealously? Is that the word? Jealous? Oh my god, that sounds weird. But pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. He's got the still seat here. It seems that it seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested, this is by Colonel Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. <laughs> Typical Sanders. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules: do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off to topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. I'm done trying to do the accent for him. Yay, a pop quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Uh, extremely. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... A slam dunk. That's wrong. Oh. Where's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? A pancake? No. Yep, that's what I thought. Is Sprinkles a good boy? That's right. Your total score is 4 out of 5. Okay. Oh, only one wrong? Not too shabby. You might just do alright, kid. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? Hello, students. May I have your attention? May I have your fucking attention? <laughs> I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance rafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. <laughs> Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone can have your attention. Is it about... Uh, no. Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Can't. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, "Shh." In honor of my the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. If you do, you've heard that he's a very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. Even though their chicken is dry as fuck. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. And is there a save option? Yes, okay. Is there a save option? Oh, I see. 
I see how it works now. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new and may the odds be ever in your favor.